short film I used to be famous is getting its very own Netflix makeover. The Eddie Sternberg short will be written and directed by Sternberg himself, and what will be his feature debut, and we can't wait. Sternberg made his first short in 2014, entitled Out of Body. Today, we are looking at everything we know about the cast so far, plus other bits and pieces about the show, so stay tuned. First, let's look at the original short film and how it compares to the Netflix feature. The original movie was a short film, written and directed by Sternberg, which told the tale of a washed-up 90s boy band singer. Set in South London, the story follows the ex-pop star and a young musical prodigy with autism. It shows how two characters from completely different walks of life can affect each other's lives positively through the power of music. The pair are both social outsiders in their own ways, and the movie explores their relationship in a charming way, which has led to Netflix giving the green light for Sternberg to bring the story to the big screen, which is a great show of trust from the streaming giant. Have you seen the short film? Let us know what you thought about it below. The Netflix version follows Vince, a washed-up pop star trying to find a way back into the game, when he randomly meets a young autistic drummer. We see an unexpected friendship blossom between the pair, so it seems as though the Netflix version will stay pretty true to the original short, which is probably to be expected seeing as the director is the same for both. So, who's starring in the new one? Stay with us to find out. Dario Naharis himself, Ed Skrein, will play the lead role of Vince in Sternberg's feature-length movie. Skrein played the character of Naharis for three episodes of Game of Thrones back in 2013, but was cut due to politics. He has revealed recently that he would have loved to have carried on the role of Daenerys' love interest on the hit show. Ed has also been in Midway, and if Beale Street could talk, he also has more stuff coming out this year, including Lisa and the Blood Moon and Naked Singularity. It appears a native Londoner has been busy this year. Opposite Scrine playing the role of Stevie the drummer is Leo Long, who is making a screen debut. Leo certainly has the attributes needed to make a splash in I Used to Be Famous, thanks to his musical background. He has previously performed with the London Youth Folk Ensemble and National Open Youth Orchestra. Long is what is known as neurodiverse, which is defined as displaying or characterized by autistic or other neurological atypical patterns of thoughts or behaviors not neurotypical. It is fantastic to see the production going with an actor who actually suffers from the problems faced by the character. This should bring a ton of authenticity to the role, which can sometimes be lacking in these types of roles. Who is in the supporting roles? The character of Amber is portrayed by Eleanor Matsura, who has graciously taken her time out of her busy schedule on The Walking Dead to appear in the new Netflix film. Matsura, who is half Japanese and half English, has appeared in a whole host of TV shows, mainly English shows in her early career, but she has progressed into American shows with her role in The Walking Dead. Chosen for the role of Austin is Irish actor, director, and model Ian Mackin. Mackin has appeared in a ton of shorts in his native Ireland, but is probably best known for his roles in La Bria and Night Flyers. Lorraine Ashbourne, who plays Miss Varley in the British Netflix mega-hit Bridgerton, will play Cheryl. Ashbourne's is a series regular in Bridgerton, and will bring a wealth of experience to the role. Similar to co-star Matsura, she has also appeared in a load of English primetime TV shows, including The Bill, Causality, and Peak Practice. What have you seen these guys in before? Let us know below. What do we know about production so far? Filming kicked off at the end of last month in the UK and is expected to last around a month or so. We have no word yet on when I Used to Be Famous will drop off the streaming platform, but sources say sometime next year. So, what is new on Netflix this month? First up, we have Red Notice. Stay with us. It seems as though people have been waiting for an eternity to see the much-hyped new Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Ryan Reynolds, and Gal Gadot action comedy Red Notice. Well, fear not. It has finally dropped on the platform as of last week. The movie follows the FBI's top crime profiler, The Rock, who is on the hunt to solve the theft of a jeweled egg that once belonged to Cleopatra, gifted to her by Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius. The movie is a fun crime caper and highly entertaining, and we suggest you give this one a watch at some point. Tick, tick, boom is up next. If you're a fan of musical dramas, we've got the one for you. Tick, tick, boom is based on a 1990 theater production of the same name, and it follows a theater composer who dreams of making it big, but cannot figure out how to do it. We've all been there, right? Directed by Lynn manuel Miranda, the movie obviously features some amazing singing and dancing, but the cast is what makes this one. The lead is played by the amazing Spider-Man himself, Andrew Garfield, who is going through something of a crisis, not knowing where his life is heading. Vanessa Hudgens also stars, so do yourself a favor and tune into this one when it drops. We're talking Cowboy Bebop next, so stay tuned. This one is a neo-noir sci-fi adapted from a 1990s anime series with the same name. There are 10 episodes for you to really get stuck into, and what a ride it will take you on. Following a group of bounty hunters who are trailing criminals across the universe, Cowboy Bebop is one you won't want to miss and should definitely be on your binge list next. It will be out this Friday, so don't forget to let us know what you think of it after you watch it. Have you ever seen the original? What did you think? An all-star cast for Christmas next. The phrase all-star is overused, but that's the only way we can describe this one. Don't Look Up features Leonardo DiCaprio and Jennifer Lawrence in the lead roles, supported by a who's who of Hollywood royalty, Jonah Hill, Tyler Perry, Timothy Chalamet, Meryl Streep, Chris Evans, Matthew Perry, Ariana Grande, Rob Morgan, Kate Blanchett, and Himish Patel all join the cast for this one, which follows Lawrence and DiCaprio's characters on a whirlwind media tour. The point of this tour is to warn the world about what is coming, a 
life-ending asteroid that will completely obliterate Earth and all its inhabitants. The premise kind of begs the what's the point question. I mean, if everybody's gonna die anyway, why do they need to go on a media tour? Are we being cynical here? Anyway, Don't Look Up hits Netflix on Christmas Eve. Will you be watching? Who are you most excited to see in this one? We're talking Narcos Mexico Season 3 next. Stay with us. Season 3 will focus on the aftermath of Felix Gallardo's reign and the groups that were formed out of the bedlam. We are focusing on the 90s and people like El Chapo Guzman. Watch out for superstar Bad Bunny, who will be joining in the cast this season. Playing a member of Ramon Arellano, Felix's gang called the Narco Juniors. The central idea to the season and the ones that preceded it is the idea that although the players will change, the game remains largely the same. Narcos Mexico Season 3 is already out and you can stream all episodes now. A Halle Berry joint next. November 19th will see the directorial debut from Halle Berry when her new movie Bruise drops. The film, in which the Hollywood legend also appears, follows the story of a former MMA athlete who's trying to win back custody of her daughter. Look out for an appearance from Kirk's Peruvian women's UFC champion Valentina Bullet Shevchenko during the movie. What is your favorite MMA star? There are a couple of Christmas bits and pieces coming too over the next few weeks, so let's check them out. November 28th brings us a new Christmas series following the plights of Santa's elves. There is nothing cute about this one though. These elves are hard. Based in Denmark, the series follows a family who travels there and when their daughters abducts one of these elves, it becomes a very tense battle for survival. A slightly different spin on Christmas then. Single All the Way is out on December 2nd. It follows the story of a young guy who takes his best friend home for the holidays. But with a twist, he has his friend pretend to be his boyfriend, but the boy's mom has already set him out on a Christmas date, which provides laughs galore. Will you be watching any of these shows? Let us know below. As always, thanks for tuning in today, guys, and remember to share this video with your Netflix-loving buddies. Bye, guys!